Condition-based maintenance, a very interesting concept and in this video we will develop this concept in order to explain which are the advantages of this methodology and disadvantage of this methodology. First of all, it's necessary to consider uh, which are the different strategies that we can follow in order to maintain our installation. At least we recognize three uh, different strategies. The first one is based the activity of the maintenance team in corrective action. Means that the, the, the maintenance is reactive, means that the, uh, we do something if the installation suffer a problem, uh, we detect the problem and we correct uh, the problem. First strategy then is the corrective strategy. Second strategy, we can call uh, this strategy systematic strategy. The systematic strategy means uh, that the, uh, all the elements that compone one installation has a uh, expecting life. Then, if we change the different components before the end of this expecting life, we avoid problems. For that reason, this strategy is called sometimes preventive uh, maintenance or preventive uh, strategy. And remember that this is based in the period of time that we can use one uh, component of the equipment or the uh, component of the installation. Systematic uh, strategy is based in period of times or counter hours, kilometers, etc. And we decide uh, what to do, what to change, which activities is necessary to do time by time in the periods of time on in the counters. Uh, doesn't mind if the system works properly or not. What is important is the period of time from the last uh, inspection or the value of some counter like uh, um, odometer or uh, 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 operating hours uh, counter, etc. Of course, systematic strategy has some advantage. Disadvantage is that, uh, is, uh, that we can avoid the consequence of the failure because changing different element before they has the, the, uh, the finish of the expected life, uh, we avoid the breaks or uh, we avoid problems, we avoid the failure of this uh, component. But there is a third uh, strategy. The, uh, this third strategy is um, called condition-based maintenance. And the principles of the condition-based maintenance are different. Condition-based maintenance says uh, it is not possible or it is not easy to determine the expecting life of a component. Then there is another uh, way to know if the component is in good condition or not. We can inspect uh, the, all the elements using different techniques. Of course, probably you are thinking in vibration, thermography, or um, uh, ultrasonic analysis, uh, oil analysis, etc. But really, condition-based maintenance is more than this. Condition-based maintenance is based in visual inspection. It's based in uh, the data that come from the instrument that are mounted in the machine. Condition-based maintenance is based in the inspection that time by time do the, um, the maintenance team according with a checklist where uh, they inspect from a deep point of view the different components of the machine. And condition-based maintenance is based in the measurement that we do with portable uh, element that has a, try to, to establish a relation between uh, the measurement of a physical or chemical parameter and the degradation. Vibration analysis, uh, thermographic analysis, ultrasonic analysis, oil analysis, try to establish the relation between some chemical or physical parameter and the degradation. See that condition-based maintenance is based in the condition that present one equipment or installation in order to decide if it's necessary to do something 
from a correct point of view or not. See that condition-based maintenance uh, is not a strategy to avoid uh, problems. It's a strategy to identify problems at the first moment when uh, solve the problem is uh, very easy and very cheap, uh, avoiding uh, production losses or avoiding the, that the severity of the problem uh, increased. Which one you prefer? You prefer a corrective strategy and solve only the problem that the installation uh, present at the moment uh, when the installation uh, present the problem with the consequence that has a, a, that a part broke. You prefer a systematic strategy uh, and change elements time by time uh, according with the expecting life determined for someone. Or you prefer to check your uh, equipment and installation and found problems uh, that are visible or not visible but you detect this problem at the, at the beginning uh, of the problem when it's easy to resolve or even it's easy to avoid that the degradation goes on. If your idea is uh, that the condition-based maintenance is the best strategy that you can implement in your installation, please follow this channel and we will talk about how to implement a condition-based maintenance in your installation.